Hi guys, it's B and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I hope you enjoy and join the colony by subscribing. Today, I'll be sharing with you some underrated makeup. This is just my personal opinion, a bunch of makeup that I have that I wish was more hyped because I find them to be incredible products, absolutely amazing. So let's just get into it. <music> First, we start off by priming our face. This product, you either love it or you hate it. I love it. And that is the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. It is very silicone-y and that's why some people don't like it. But I love this product. It's a great, great primer. Just a disclaimer, there are some products that I don't have underrated products for so i'll just be going over that but i will let you know what product i use for that step i just won't demonstrate it great now that our face is primed we go on to foundation and this is also a very popular foundation i use on my channel and there's the wet and wild photo focus foundation cool for this foundation i'll be using this beauty blender that I actually got in a pack of four with these two, there's two like this. This is from Clicks and they are amazing beauty blenders. I think I paid about 60 Rand for four beauty blenders and they are really, really great beauty blenders. So I will be using this in my look today. So we just open up the foundation and we start putting it on our face. And that is why we push our hair back when we do makeup. Mm. Okay, so our foundation is nicely on. Next, we have concealer. And from concealer, a very, very great product that used to be very hyped, but nowadays isn't so hyped. But I think it's still amazing is the LA Girl Pro Concealers. So I have them in shade beige, which is the slighter shade, and in shade mahogany, which is the darker shade. Now I'll be using these concealers to highlight and contour. And like what I really like about these concealers is that it has like a brush tip. So it's very easy to concentrate where you want that product. There's also so much of product in these little tubes. It's unbelievable. I've had this mahogany one for like, I don't know, three, four years. And it's still going. I'll be using the second sponge from the Clicks set for my highlight. It's just a bit smaller. So it's easier to get in and under the eye. And I like to take my contour upwards just to lift my face. Okay, and if you feel like it's a bit too bright here on the ends, just take your original beauty blender and go over those corners. Using the same beauty blender, I'm just going to set under my eyes. And I'll be using the Matte Bounce Setting Powder by Switch Beauty. This is my ultimate favorite setting powder. It's so mattifying. It's so good. And it's definitely underrated. I don't think I've heard enough people rave about this besides myself. It is amazing. However, like I said, this is personal opinion. The matte bounce makes you very matte. So if you don't like a matte face, you're not going to like this product. Next, we have tinted powders or pressed powders. And I think an underrated powder is the smudge powders that you can get from Clicks. So this is what it looks like. I have shade Walnut, which I used to contour with, and shade Almond, which I'll use to set my face with. So this is shade Almond. It's a very nice powder. 
powder. Now I'm using shade Walnut as a contour powder. Great. For brows, the Beach Brow by Switch Beauty is so underrated. There is a lot of hype around this product, but I haven't seen a lot of reviews. And this product is amazing. What I love about them is they have a clear shade in their line as well as a black. A lot of lines have like to dark brown but they don't have black and I do have black hair so I really love this product it's really good it's actually my favorite brow product that I own I'm not going for a hectic brow just want to set my brows pull them in a little and this product does exactly that according to the packaging this is a brown mousse that fills fluffs and sets in one go amazing product okay now we move on to eyeshadow and with eyeshadow this can be a bit tricky because there's so many eyeshadow in the market so many that are good so many that are not so good but I personally want to speak about the Revlon lookbooks. I have three of them. And these are really, really good eyeshadow. They're really soft. They're really pigmented. And they're so compact. Like, they're so cute. So cute. I love traveling with these because I have a range of colors. And, like, it's so tiny. And I'm getting so many colors out of them. Okay, just to show you how beautiful these are, I'm just going to do a few swatches. So from the Enigma palette. Um, what color is screaming to you guys? I'm going to take this wine color. And I'm just going to swatch it on my hand. Like it's so creamy and buttery and pretty. From the player palette, I feel like we have to swatch that silver and the blue. Like, look at that silver. So great. And the blue. The pigment. It's stunning. And while we're at it, let's do the green because I mean, come on, that green looks amazing. It is amazing. And they're so buttery smooth. Okay, and lastly, from the Maverick palette, this is a neutral shade palette. So let's go with this copper shade right in the middle. Let me put it up here and see how nice and shimmery that is. And if you're interested in a matte shade, let's swatch a matte shade. Let's go with this dark brown over here. It's very nice and pigmented. So what look are we doing today? I want to do a halo eye and I'm feeling the enigma vibes today the same concealer i use for under my eyes i'm using the la girl pro concealer as an eyeshadow base we're just going to load some on our eye using our sponge we're going to blend that out okay, so i'm thinking about putting this pink shade on the outer side and using this light pink shimmer as my halo Let's go for it. Okay, you just want to lightly connect them, like very lightly. Okay, I'm going to use a very pointed brush and I'm going to take this dark purple shade, very little of it, just to deepen out this outer corner add a little bit more dimension to the look 
just deepen it out slightly and I'm going to actually deepen my inner corner as well just to have that balanced look once I'm happy with that I'm just going to go over it with the same brush I used to lay down that initial pink shade and I'm just going to blend it together just so that it all looks super nice and blended now I'm going to take the same concealer and I'm just going to put a little bit on the center of my lid and I'm going to use a concealer brush and spread it out so taking that first pink shade we're going to pick it up and we're just going to very lightly blend the edges and then using your finger or brush it's really all up to you you're going to pick up that shimmery shade you're going to put it right on the concealer and try to press it into your concealer once you've put that shade on you want to take the pink again go in with your pink shade and just buff out the edges of that shimmer so it doesn't look so stocky but there's like a soft blend into them and there we go a halo eye i'm not a fan of how halo eyes look on me but i always give it a try hoping one day it will change unfortunately i don't have an underrated eyeliner because i only use one eyeliner that is the mac feline eyeliner so i'm just gonna pop this on as you guys know this is my favorite for liquid liner the most underrated liquid liner is the essence liquid ink liner that looks like this you guys have seen me use this many times and it is my favorite eyeliner it's like really great and it is the fraction of the price for any liner like it is really really affordable and amazing okay there's my wing i added a little in a corner moment just to add a little something something for mascara underrated is the lash princess by essence it it's just not hyped enough it's so good it's really really good and also affordable and there we go i'm gonna be back i'm just gonna complete the other eye okay so my other eye is done for blush underrated product is the la girl brush yes i got it on sale and i'm ashamed of it did i just break it now so yeah it's a nice pink blush very big pan lots of product and also affordable okay next i have lip liner and this is the smudge lip liner in shade brown this is a very nice lip liner it's a nice dark brown it would help if i sharpened it but you know now for lips very underrated product is your essence lip products so this is the eight hour color stay lipstick which is amazing it's really comfortable it's pigmented and it does last reasonably well next i want to talk about and this product i actually came about because i bought a mystery pack from essence from take a lot and i got this in it and this is the instant care lipstick by from essence and it is a moisturizing lip care lipstick so this is the shade and as you can see i have crusty lips so this has become one of my favorite products it's so nourishing and comfortable it's really just amazing okay then i just like to take a brush and just kind of blend that lip liner in so it's not so harsh it 
I do want to mention a very underrated lip gloss and that is the Juicy Balm Glosses from Essence. I am going to put it on top of this even though my lips are a bit glossy just to show you how amazingly glossy this this product is. Like just look at the shine. Like come on. It is absolutely amazing and I love this packaging because I can use it on many different color lipsticks and I won't change the color of the gloss which is really nice compared to when you have a one gloss. Lastly, setting spray and you guys know I love the setting spray. It is the Set It Babe setting spray from Kiki Beauty and this is a slightly dewy setting spray which is great because I always end up looking matte F. So let's set it first. And there we go, a face of underrated makeup, in my opinion. I think it looks super cute. I love all of the products I used. So, of course, I love this look. I'm even vibing with the halo eye, even though it's not usually my cup of tea. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts, comments, and recommendations down below. Also, let me know if there's any products you would like me to try out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It's never too late to join the Beehive, so hit subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.